Okay, so in conclusion to uh, the, the video that we had on Monday, okay, keep in mind, sophomores, okay, uh, you're giving your vocab quizzes back. It's important that you look them over, okay, and then also know the four movements of materials across the cell membrane, and we wrote those down on Monday, okay? So movements... Across cell membrane. Okay, remember your four types were as follows. You had diffusion, osmosis, facilitated diffusion, and then active transport. Now this is nothing new. You should have this information down or have the video to watch from Monday. But remember, there's something a little different about these three. These move down a concentration gradient. Therefore, does not require energy. Okay, so it's moving from high to low, does not require any energy. And again, diffusion is blood gases. Okay, osmosis is water. Facilitated diffusion is proteins and sugars, materials that are just too large to enter the cell very easily. So you need to have a little bit of help from, from uh, uh, protein gates inside of the uh, cell membrane. So that's what facilitated diffusion is for. And then finally, active transport, we had said, is your sodium slash potassium pump. Okay. Because this requires energy, and uh, and moves against a concentration gradient. Okay, huh. kind of like this class just talked about, right? You know everything there is to know about this. Sodium potassium pump. Very good. Okay, so this is the essay question that you're going to want to deal with. We talked about your light reactions versus your dark reactions. Okay, we said the take home item is that as sunlight is absorbed by the leaf, water is split. We said that probably six, eight, ten times. The water molecule gets split. The oxygen is a byproduct, and that's why plants give those off as byproducts. Oxygen is not used in the process of photosynthesis. Then it is the hydrogen ion that drives the electron transport chain. That allows plants to create sugars as that electron moves to higher energy levels in the electron transport chain. Okay. There's two videos for you to watch. One is fairly short, and then this one. You can also watch the one on Monday that we discussed. Okay? Comparing the light reactions and the dark reactions. Okay, so within the dark reactions, okay, we also know as the Kelvin cycle. Okay? So what happens is these plants can produce energy or food for themselves in extremely hot and dry environments. So what does that mean? The stoma or stomata, okay, are those tiny openings in leaves that when it's hot and dry, these will remain slightly open. And what they will still allow is retain water but yet take in CO2 for carbon fixation. Okay. And that's all we want you to know about the Kelvin cycle. Okay. Just the idea that there's structures in the leaves that 
will remain close to being closed, okay, to retain water, but yet take in carbon dioxide for carbon fixation and producing energy for themselves in the form of sugar. The dark reaction is the Calvin cycle. And finally, your bonus questions, okay, would be as follows. Optional to do. Okay. That is. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I gotta think of a good one, maybe. And I have no idea how to spell this. I'm just going to go Brett, just Cav Kavanaugh. I, I don't know. I've seen it on the news, but just never really uh, paying any attention how to spell it. But Brett Kavanaugh, the Republican senator that pushed for that FBI investigation, is from the state of blank. Okay. Because there were two of them. I think there was a Democrat from Vermont, but the Republican senator was from which state? And we even give you a little bit of a hint. His first name is Jeff. Okay. That's bonus one. Again, these are optional. And remember, you have to have the question and you have to have the answer. You just can't write the answer to have these questions too. So bonus two. The lead singer for the 80s group the Go-Go's blank. Okay. So you could think of like the maybe a little more recent would be the group Daughtry. You know, I listen to a lot of Daughtry and of course the lead singer for the group Daughtry would be Chris Daughtry. So we're kind of looking for that, this musical group, the Go-Go's, who was the lead singer for that. All right, so exam tomorrow and then when you come back on uh, Tuesday, we will begin protein synthesis.